Hi and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zangi Mwemi from quantbuild.co.ke. I received a request from one of my subscribers to do a video about how to create custom textures and surfaces in Archicad. So this video will be showing you how to go about that. And before we start, I just want to remind you that you can subscribe to this YouTube channel to support my work. And if you have already done that, thank you very much and we can get started with our video. Now the first thing that I want you to understand is that when you have a project, you have the different uh, building elements that are in place for you to be able to display those elements in a manner that is uh, realistic that is to be able to show the, the materials in a realistic manner you are supposed to apply surfaces and applying surfaces or rather the surface settings depends on the type of uh, design element that you are working with let's take a wall for an ex for an example but well, let's say i have this wall selected if i go to the settings dialog for the wall you can see we have a uh, wall selection settings we have geometry and positioning we have a uh, wall plan and section we have model and we have classification and properties so here where we have model you can see three uh, types of surfaces so we have an outside face surface we have a edge surface and we have an inside face surface so when i click on these icons i will be able to activate this surfaces that Archicad has set as default for the wall element that I have used for my project and as you can see uh, there is some uh, changes in terms of how my wall looks now compared to when I was starting the tutorial so now based on that understanding we can be able to customize the, the the surfaces for our project so that we will be able to display them exactly as we want them to look when we have our project constructed so i'll begin by showing you how you can create a new surface and apply a custom texture to that surface and up here I want us to go to options element attributes and when element attributes is active you can see we have a lot of things that we can do we can uh, work on uh, model views or the layer settings we have line types, we have pens and colors, we have field types, we have surfaces, we have building materials and composites, among other things. Now, surfaces and building materials work hand in hand in that when you are creating a building material, you have to specify the field for that material and the surface for that material. So for you to be able to create a custom building material, you need to understand how first how to create a custom surface. So when we click on surfaces, you will be able to see this window. And this window is uh, showing us grass green as the material that is selected. And these are the settings that are there based on the basic rendering engine. We have exposure to light, we have all these parameters, we have vectoral arching and texture. So let's say we wanted to duplicate 
the floor finish for this house I want to select this slab which represents my floor then I'll go to the settings dialog and I'll be able to see that we have some uh, tiles Let, let's say we change this to I'm looking for some surface let's choose concrete 02 I think we can go with that and then I'll click on OK and as you can see now for the floor we we have a new a new surface that is in place so what I'm going to do I will do away with the roof for the purposes of uh, us being able to see what is happening inside the house so I will select this roof and then I will group them then I will move them from the roof layer to the Archicad Inten layer and now we can be able to see if you look at the slab can be able to see what is happening inside the our project rather the house that we have modeled so I want to go ahead and duplicate this material so I will go to options element attributes and then surfaces then I will, I will select I will click on uh, this arrow now be able to select uh, concrete 02 as my material and now based on this I have four options I can be able to create a new surface I can be able to rename the existing surface in this case concrete 02 that I have selected I can be able to share this a, a material to the beam portal and I can also be able to delete this material from my Archicad libraries and what I want to do is to create a new surface so I'll click on new and then there will be this window that pops up it's asking me whether I want to create a duplicate uh, create new from catalog or replace settings from catalog and for this for this tutorial I want us to create a new surface based on a duplicate of the existing surface and this surface is concrete 02 and so I'll give it a name because I want I want to apply some uh, custom wood surface I want to call it wood so click on this and type wood then this the surface that I have is for MDF then I will click on OK and I will have created my surface so down here and exposure to light I will leave the settings as they are I will not say I will not uh, change anything under vectoral arching but when you come down you will see an option written texture I want you to click on that and when that expands you are able to see in this preview the material that is applied to that surface and so let's say we wanted to change this texture we will go to search click on this button written search and when you click on this you will be taken to Archicad library and Archicad is going to allow you to be able to load an image from the library that is images that are already uh, part of the Archicad library let's say that is not what you wanted you just wanted to remove the texture and, and leave it as it is so you will be able to if you come back here 
we'll be able to click on this button re remove texture and then the texture will be gone but what we want to do is we want to apply a new texture that is a different texture a custom texture for that matter so when I click on search and I can take me to the library and the image that I want to load of course it's not in the library I went to the field I went and uh, photographed or rather took a photo of the surface that I want to apply to my project and that is stored in my computer so we can be able to load external images using this button written that is written add so if I click on this it's going to take me to the the the, the file explorer and I'll be able to locate the image where I have uh, stored it so this is the image that I want to use I'll click on it then I'll click open you can see a preview here then I'll click OK and it's going to adjust itself and I'll check on uh, keep regional proportion then I want this to be 1200 let's say 1200 and then after that I'll come back here and uh, engine settings I'll click on this drop down arrow then I'll select scene render by Maxon and I'll go down here under scene render settings I'll click on match settings then I'll update scene render settings from basic let's see the preview so this is a representation of how our material is going to look like in a real life situation so after doing that I'll click on OK and if 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 you go back to the surfaces you can be able now to locate the material that we have created and we've named it wood surface so if you scroll if you scroll you can be able to see this is this is the material that we've created wood mdf so click on ok and then after creating that material now how do you apply it to an element and for this matter we are working uh, on, on, on our slab which is our floor so I'll go ahead and select this slab I'll select it then I'll go to the settings dialog for the slab and below the floor plan and section we have model and we have uh, some some instructions here we have override surfaces and so for the three surfaces that we are provided with we can be able to choose a custom one for our project and and what I want to change is the first one so I'll click on it I will have this whole list of uh, the surfaces that are available for my project that is both the ones that are provided by default in Archicad and the, the ones that I have created so if you can be able to locate this wood MDF this is the surface that we created if you can remember so I'll click on it and then I'll click OK and I'll wait for it to update and after it has updated let's zoom in now you can see we have a now we have a different surface we have a new surface for our slab and I think it's it's very easy it's as simple as as I have explained and you can see it works very well now this does not only work for the slabs it works with the walls it works with 
any design element that you will uh, think of using for your project it works with the uh, morph tools or rather morph objects like let's go to the wall select that wall go to the wall settings dialog and under model settings let's activate these surfaces and then choose a new surface which is the one we created wood apply that to all uh, uh, edges and then click ok and as you can see the wall now has changed so that's it that's how to create custom textures and surfaces in archicad i hope you've learned something from this tutorial if you found it awful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers